and action. I'm just fucking kidding with you. Come on, come on. Welcome, welcome. You want me to clap for you? Yes, sir. Just like that. And this is interview take one. Interview take one. Sounds great. And is that what the film's gonna be called? Yeah. I'm just kidding with you, mate. <laughs> yeah. Right. Of course. Did you wipe your feet at the door? I'm just kidding. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Uh, my name's Pierce Rotson. And um, I'm from Chicago, Australia, Australia. I cut out the Chicago thing. Um, and I'm here in my bedroom. Cooking kind of a basic word. I like to call it Street. Watch that, please don't fucking hit anything. All right, shit's special to me. All right, all right, it might look like shit to you because these young people don't appreciate the arts, but I'll show you. I'll show you a thing or two. So, something uh, I'm, I'm pretty famous for, right? I like to make, um... What's wrong? Yeah, we're, we're hopping for maybe an interview. Is this what I'm supposed to talk into here? Uh, Is that good? Uh, generally, it just shouldn't be in the shop, but we have a shed. Uh, oh. Okay. okay. What's my favorite food? Well, I think a good place to start is what is the definition of food. Right, okay. First things first. Right, I'm not so Actually, sure. we were thinking maybe we could get like an interview with you first. That's all right. You want me to sit in a fucking chair, ask me questions, like an interrogation or something? This ain't a setup, is it? No, no. Just You're just not police or anything? Questions. Just some normal questions, no. I don't like it, but... All right. You know how people figure out you could like eat certain berries or not? People fucking die, mate. That's how it is in the bush. And that's how we get some good shit we got now. Who cracked open an egg and said, I'm gonna eat that? When, when did that stop? We gotta keep doing that. You gotta keep trying shit. Yeah, next question. Interview, well, uh, awesome, all right. Would you like, you know, I've got a nice, um. We can just go over there, yeah, we'll just back up there. Yeah, sounds good. Can you All fuck right. off, please? Seriously. <laughs> so, uh, what part of Australia were you, uh, did you grow up in? Well, um... By the water. Yeah, they're like, there's like an ocean around Australia, and I'm like by the water. Yeah, but like specifically, like, what town? You said it was a small town um, in Australia, what was the name of it? Aussieville. Aussieville. You don't have to look it up. It's it's there, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if it's still we'll, there, we'll, but we'll whatever. Just look it up after that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Would you guys like a demonstration? All right, come with me. Let's go. All right. Welcome to my temple. Won't you step back there? What is something you are most proud of in your life and what uh, like a new creation or a new food that you've created? What what what, what I can't explain these things to you. Just, which is, but we're just trying to convert your your words to a visual element to reach a whole new audience. You know, this this will reach a very large audience. <clears throat> oh, sorry, mate. What the hell is this? Stella Artois. How do you pronounce that? St it's a Stella Artois. 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 Belgium, eh? Good country. 1366, that's a good year. That's like during the fucking Black Plague or some shit. All right, so, demonstration today. Let's get started. I'm gonna make something for you. I don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment. We should be able to digest anything, right? Like, humans adapt. And then, uh, friskies. <clears throat> friskies paint. Anyway. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, make sure you're paying attention, alright? So, uh, how do you fucking work this thing? 
Cook time. Nah, I don't want that fucking shit baked. Put that shit all the way, alright? 400, 500. Where do I get my meat? It's a good question. Um, I do cook with meat time to time. You know, many would say my methods are a bit unorthodox. Just like that. And uh, get your stove going. Uh, don't worry about oil in it. That's, um, that's really um, just kind of a cautionary thing people try to do. <sighs> Mother of fuck. Um, let me just, here we go. This is why you got tools handy. You see this? This is what this is for. <clears throat> there we go. Alright. I like to push the limits a bit, you know. That looks amazing. That looks fucking gorgeous. So, smear that around. That is some good stuff. And, you know, uh, it's kind of plain right now, but we'll spice it up, don't you worry. Next thing on the list. Um, just toss that over there. And... How about some bitchin' sauce? That's right. Chipotle bitchin' sauce. Mmm, organic. I, I know a lot about cooking. Great. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We get a little treat in there. You see that? That's how you know it's organic. <laughs> alright, alright. So, just scoop some of that shit out of there. And alright. There we go. There we go. That looks amazing, by the way. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Now, best part hasn't even come yet. Next thing is the eggs. Let me just get that out. Oh, well, I guess I'll just sprint, sprinkle a little bit of like that on there. Just, you know, whatever you got handy, really. Um, well, let me just, um, uh, you know what I say, when, People, they hate going to the back of the fridge. They hate uh, reaching back for whatever's in the back there. I say, make an adventure out of it. You know, just grab whatever's in its way and just use it. You know, if it's in front of your eggs, take it out. Like, what's this? It's just sitting on the eggs in the way. Oh, well, whatever, we got some leftover Chinese. Uh, there you go, just like that. And see what else you got in there. All right, here we got some eggs. And just like that, you just plop it in there and spread it around a little bit, just like that. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you put a second one on there, just like that. And make sure to break it up a bit. That, that really helps. Just break it up, just like that. That is amazing, that is beautiful. I remember when I was just a little kid, I was out in my backyard, I saw a berry bush, and I thought I'd try some berries, right? Not a big deal, whatever. Well, I come inside after I eat my, my fill, you know, of some berries, and I got all these spots all over me, and I, I, I just felt a horrible burning pain. It was fucking horrible. And I was like, Mum, what the hell's happening? She's like, please don't swear in the house, honey. I was like, what the fuck, mom, I'm dying. All right, so now the fun part, you get to wait. And what do you do while we wait? Uh, you guys want some coffee? We just got some extra coffee. Like, like seriously, you guys want any coffee? Um, sure. Yeah, all right, there you go. Careful with that. God, that's freezing cold. What? You don't like it like that? You... It's kind of ungrateful. Your mother ever teach you any fucking manners? This has been here all day. Getting all good for you, aging. I don't know what the issue is, man. So she's like, all right, all right. Well... Did you eat those berries outside? I said, yeah, I ate the berries, all right. I, I, I want to try new things. She's like, well, then eat your fucking vegetables. Anyway, come back to your dish. Take a look. Look how it's going. All right, you just breathe it in. Oh, the... <coughs> that's good stuff. That is amazing. Oh, 
Yeah, that's good. It starts to stick to the pan a bit. Just mix it around. That's fantastic. Now, i got to say, there's not enough bitching. Get all the oils on there. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Long story short, it wasn't because of the berries. I just had some chicken pox. So, uh, less another story. You should just try stuff, you know? Don't be afraid. You always got to keep trying new foods. Wow. You can really start smelling it now, boys. You can really just smell that. Uh, I think that little chunk of um, that fucking mold we put in there is just really... <laughs> Holy fuck, man. That's good. But I don't know, like, everything causes cancer these days. Ugh. Shit. You know, as a chef, there's no shame in uh, eating junk food every once in a while. I do it all the time. Um, just make a pot. Make a pot of your dish. It's really good. You gotta get creative. And you can't be afraid to try different things. Just put it in now. If it's available, put it in. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay? This is art. This is art. That smells fucking amazing. You know what I'm talking about? It smells fucking great. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. <coughs> uh, and, you know, clean up. <coughs> it's a lot of trial and error, right? And for me, a priority is taste. Taste. Just oil it up a bit. Just a little bit. Just... <laughs> just oil it. Just like that. See that? It was... You know, if you don't put that in there, it's gonna stick to the bottom. And... It's just gonna be disgusting. Right? It's... You're gonna burn the bottom of it. It's gonna get all crispy and disgusting. So, make sure to oil it up. I like to use other things. You know... If milk's not what you like, that's okay. We got apple cider too. Whatever you got available. Whatever is available. How do I get started? Now that's a story. That is a story. Now I'm gonna start at the age when I could start really being conscious and remembering stuff. So when I was 32. And maybe on one hand you wanted to make a hot dish, turns into a soup, it happens. All right, it happens. It's all part of the process. <clears throat> all right, so now I think uh, we should let this uh, marinate for a bit, uh, maybe about an hour, come back. I don't like to leave a timer. I like to just come back when it feels right. You know, you just got to stick it out a bit and just follow what feels right. All right, boys, this is it. Let's see the final result. I'm excited. How about you? All right, there it is. There it is. Oh, that is a beauty. That looks fantastic. Oh, I love it. All right, taste test time. Let's see how good this thing is, eh? My, my mother would make some wild dishes with um, just things we'd find out around, you know, out in the jungle, uh, not jungle, um, Australia. Uh, you know, like, um, Dingoes? What are, fucking dogs? Never mind. Shit. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm, you would, you no, eat, so, uh, you're telling me you would eat dingoes? Alright. Yeah, scoop some around. Get, get some broccoli. Let me get some broccoli. Oh, uh, yeah. Not a big fan of vegetables, but the rest of the shit in here should make up for it. Uh, get all the soups in there. That is lovely. That is lovely. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're gonna stretch it. Let's try something else here. All right, let's get a taste test. Here we go. Here we go, folks. That is great. 
Oh, I love it. That's some good shit. All right, let's go. Ah. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, mate. Oh, I thought that was great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, folks. Oh, I got a mess to clean up in the meantime. Thanks for coming. Uh, <laughs> uh, but all of our stuff in. Uh, I don't even have my jacket on. Oh, yeah, I think you guys should just leave, honestly. It's not bad. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Uh, uh, don't. Tell anyone about this. Goodbye.